we started restoring the broken pieces on this window, we realized that the lead is over almost 100 years old, so it's all rotten. It's disintegrating, so instead of just repairing it, we have to remove the entire window and re-lead it all with brand new leaded materials. And so it'll be like new. And that might be what has to happen with all the windows here, because it's, they're pretty old. I saw something in a newspaper about the restoration, and I contacted the foundation and talked to Rain, Rainey, and, um, and she was confident that we had enough experience after 45 years of doing work all over the world. Uh, we, we got along pretty well together and uh, we decided to help them out a little bit, uh, give them little discounts and, and just help them out to restore this thing. It was a project of love for them and us. The process in rest restoration of stained glass, and technically this is actually leaded glass, not stained because we aren't painting on it, is we have to remove the windows from the site, from the frames, which is a process because they're so old. These windows are almost 100 years old. And windows at that point, lead deteriorates and so we have to re-lead them at least. So the process is we take the windows out, we bring them to our studio, and then Ms. Lisa, who's the one on these panels, are, are taking them apart, disassembling it. Uh, there was a lot of duct tape on these because they're in such bad shape that we had to st stabilize them when we did the removal. And so she then has to take each piece apart take the duct tape off, clean the panels, and then she'll be in the process of re-leading them all, which is kind of like a puzzle, where you put a piece in, put a piece of lead, put a piece in, put a piece of lead, then solder them together, putty them, waterproof them, reinforce them. So it's quite a laborious process. It's a lot of handwork. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty labor intensive. Uh, but these windows are um, old. We don't really know exactly who did them. I guess we're doing some research on that now. And they're fairly simple, but they're uniform throughout the whole chapel. That's why it's kind of nice with this chapel that all the windows seem to be done by the same studio, except for the rear kitchen windows. Um, but these are all kind of nicely done. Uh, they have the symbolic cross and crown uh, in the center of all the windows in the whole chapel. So. That will be the more intricate part to lead. The rest is fairly straightforward, straight lines. But it's really nice to see the um, interesting adaption of jewels and cross and crown in the center. When we take them apart, um, it depends on how badly things are broken. As you can see over there, we take a rubbing of the window to make a pattern we call the cartoon. And that's what we'll lead this back onto according to that pattern. Uh, when we see broken pieces, if they have a single crack and it's not too obtrusive, we like to maintain the old original glass if possible. We might put a lead line in it. Uh, but the ones that are broken too much, we have to replace the glass, uh, which is kind of tricky because some of the similar companies are still around from the old days, but the way they manufacture glass is a little different. So the characters of some of the glass might look a bit different with the new replacement pieces than the originals, but we try to get as close as we can, and we can usually get pretty close. You have to cut away the putty. See, there's glass, lead, and putty to make it reinforced and, um, and waterproofed. But the putty has gotten kind of chalky, and the lead's gotten kind of brittle. And so you have to take the putty out and then take away all the lead, like she's doing now. You, so you have to kind of scallop it away like that. And then when you get enough of the lead off, you can take the piece out. Then you have to clean each piece, which is laborious, to take all the old putty, because it's old linseed old putty which is kind of like, uh, it gets hard as a rock and kind of chalky, so it's really a process to take all that old putty away and clean the glass so you can re -lead it. Similar companies are still making the same lead. They come in different widths and shapes, and they, uh, they have channels in them, so the glass fits in the channels in the lead. And that's why we then have a space there we have to re-putty to make them waterproof and solid again. After 45 years, you learn all the tricks of yeah, how to do all well, that stuff. Like, Lisa's good. These are panels of the large window that are already re-leaded. This one still needs to be puttied in. And um, so we re led them. Like I said, there's a process, like a puzzle. You put a piece in, put lead around it, put a piece in, put lead around it, put a piece in, lead around it. You have to make sure the miters and all the, the joints are tight together with the lead, and then we solder each joint together. Uh, lead is solderable. 
And then once we get it all complete and sized to the correct shape and size that it was originally, then it's a putty process where you have to embed putty into all the lid. Then after we putty it, we have to polish it and get it all clean like it looks like this. And so of the large window, uh, this is the bottom and these are the sections in the middle uh, towards the top and the top part is over there and then this is the large center part that she's working on right now. This is one, one window. Then on site we have to clean out all the frames. Uh, the frames are mostly wood there, redwood, but also there's some metal T-bars splitting up some of these panels. We have to make sure they're all cleaned and open. And then we just uh, stack these panels one by one into the original frames. Uh, we have to put caulking, put the window in, the panels, uh, then we do more caulking and put the wood stops or putty. And uh, then we're putting the clear plexiglass back on the panels that were originally to protect them. And so that's basically the process.